All right, in that last step, you should have created your Mesh Tech account. This one, we're gonna show you how to do a controller onboarding, which is a fancy word for setting it up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open the Blue Roots app, which is the dark square with the uh, little tree light bulb thing. It's gonna automatically pop up and say, no Mesh Tech device is found yet. That's completely normal and to be expected because we haven't set one up yet. So at this point, we're gonna go right ahead and we are going to plug in the controller to the power outlet. And you'll see nearly immediately at the bottom, it pops up a little message that says, hey, we have detected unpaired mesh tech device near you. Would you like to pair them now? Later or pair? We are going to definitely pair. We're gonna click that. It's gonna circle around for a little bit. It's gonna scan and it will find the mesh tech controller. And it will present that to us as that little blue squiggle that's kind of hard to see at the top there, but it's there. So we're gonna put our finger on that squiggle we're gonna drag it all the way down to select group. And we're gonna let go. Since this is a brand new fresh install and we don't have a group created yet, we're gonna have to do that. So you'll see that little circle with a plus sign in it towards the top. Press that and it'll allow us the ability to enter the group name. So we're just gonna call it Spiffy Roof. Create. Created the group and it has the white circle next to it, indicating that that is in fact the group that we wish to add it to. So we're gonna go ahead and hit add at the bottom. And then it'll ask us to choose the light type. In this instance, since this is an inception exterior RGB building perimeter system, we'll be using the mesh tech nugget, the bottom choice, and hit next. This is asking us how many lights are on an output. So if we have two or more outputs, we're always gonna input the number of lights on the longest output. And there's two ways of doing that. You can hit this little plus sign down here until you're blue in the face and it increments the lights one at a time. Or you can hit the pencil. The pencil will allow you to set the length. So if you're like, oh, well, I know we have 156 bulbs, you can enter that number and you can set it and it'll automatically change there. Um, so sometimes that's a way of getting a little bit closer. If you're not really sure how many, you can get close and then you can do the plus minus thing to get it accurate. But um, it's a lot better than drumming on that plus sign for 10 minutes. Your direction allows you to shift where the effect starts. If you want to start at the controller and move to the end or start at the end and move to the controller. For the most part, you can just leave it as the controller to end. Next. It'll ask us to confirm your strip is fully illuminated and the first two and last two LEDs are blue. So we're gonna confirm that. And it's gonna bring us back here just in case we had any additional devices to add, we could do it at that point. We're gonna hit done at the bottom. That's gonna bring us back to our main screen. It'll attempt to connect to the device and after a few seconds, you'll get an on off slider. And then from here, you'll be able to turn your lights on or off. And in the next video, we'll show you how to do colors.